So my next guests are what's truly called a mega family, a family with more than eight kids. And the Wolfgrams top that number easily. Supermom, you might say, Sarah Wolfgram, and her husband, Heine Wolfgram, is a member of the iconic 80s band, The Jets. Remember The Jets? Yes! They had eight top 10 Billboard hits like Crush On You and You've Got It All and the Grammy-nominated Rock It To You. When I recently saw Sarah going viral, I knew I wanted to talk to this woman. She has spent 21 years pregnant, having 14 kids. Take a look. to talk to you, <laughs> but I need to talk to yeah, <laughs> I know it takes two. I do know that. Um, first of all, the joy in that video. I love that you shared it with the world. Oh. It's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. And I remember watching it there. So your oldest is 26, the youngest is five. And I kept waiting for the video to end and just kids kept coming right. and coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Um, it went viral. Why do you think it just hit it? Just not, because they're not just the number. Right? You know, it was funny because it was very organic. Um, my girls run a TikTok and, you know, she's like, we need, we need more content. We're going to make this little video. Mom, you're going to just hug each kid as they come in and out of the frame. And I was like, I was wearing sweats and I was like, maybe I should go change. But had I known it was going to turn into this, I would have, you know, we would have maybe, but I think it, because it was so organic, it was just this genuine thing. Like everybody jumped in and hugged me. And, you know, I think as a mom, as I've watched it over and over again and read thousands and thousands of comments, your genuine love for your kids when you look at them. Yeah. Like, you, you, like each one of them is a gift. Like, hey, oh, it's you. Oh, and now you're coming. Oh, and now I love this one. Oh, oh, you're my favorite too. Oh, but, but what about, you know, like there's okay, this. I love that you keep that enthusiasm because you homeschooled them. Yes. I don't yes. know if I, I don't know if I could have done that. Like, yeah. See, you're saying, oh, come, I'd be like, you again? And you again? <laughs> Heine, how many kids were in your family? Because yes. I know half of you performed in the other, the other half at right. home. Well, we had 17 kids in my family. 17. So my mom had. That's right. I mean, do you understand? This is my whole life in a picture right, right. now. I, Saturday morning, she's like, oh, what show's on? And there you, the Jets would pop up performing. Right, right, right. Um, well, Heine, because you were you're in this iconic, you know, family group, the Jets, now you started having one, two, three. Right. I'm thinking, you know what you're gonna be doing, kid? <laughs> because you've got the residency uh, in Las Vegas, Planet Hollywood. Was it natural for you to look at them all and say, y'all are so cute, you could make a Band, dare I say. Yes, you know, it was natural. And also, she was a singer as well. So right. that's how we met. And when we got married, we said, you know, if we have a lot of kids, we'll have them sing. Well, and there was another stipulation. Uh -oh. If we have a lot of kids and they want to, it was never something we just... Well, you're both singers. So right? that's like in right. their DNA. So, so they were going to be have, able to. Right, if right. they have a desire, we have the know-how. We'll give them the skill set. And then it's their passion to carry on the family legacy. Yeah. Wow. So, right. And so now... They have their own group, 13 Crowns. Right. right. And 13 Crowns, were the inspiration, look at these kids. Wow. Oh my God, the inspiration of the name. The kids love the crowns, the idea that we're all royal, we're all somebody Aww. special. We all come from, you know, someone, somebody inside, each one of us wears a crown. So there are 13 Crowns, and at the time we had 13 kids in our family. Yeah. Now number 14 was a bonus. 
And so after we had gone through the trouble and the headache of trademarking the name and waiting for the USBT, all that, I found out I was pregnant. We are not changing the name. <laughs> it is 13, 13 rounds, mm -hmm. and we have a bonus. Before so. we go to break, I have to, though, bring up one thing in that video, because I think a lot of women um, will be inspired by it. In the video, we see a little angel. That's right. At one point. And that angel is dedicated to? Soraya. So our 12th beautiful baby girl. Um, call, I didn't mean to get emotional, but um, she came to our family. And as all of oh, them have been just a gift, and all the other kids are so excited to welcome a new baby. And they bonded with her. They loved her. And um, just one night, we were gathering as a family. She had fallen asleep, and, and Heine laid her on the bed. Um, we gathered downstairs for our nightly uh, meeting and pr evening prayer as a family. He went back upstairs and she wasn't breathing. And she had passed away of SIDS. Right. And for any mother, that would, that's your nightmare. Mm -hmm. You know, people, people wondered. And as I went through that, it's been some time now, um, Immediately after, my kids and myself said, this isn't the way we want to end our family. This isn't what we want the period of our family to be, you know, the exclamation mark. And they said, Mom, please have another one. Please have another one. So, you know, I got on my knees and I asked God, like, if you give me the strength to do this again, because it's scary. It hurts. It's so scary to think this could happen again. I will do it. I'll take the leap of faith and I'll trust you that no matter what, it's like falling off a cliff. I'll either grow some wings or there'll be a net below to catch me. And you know what? He sent me a rainbow baby. And, you know, a year and a half later, Lene was born number 13. And she just came and, like, filled that hole in our hearts. Well, thank you for doing that. Because I thought that was a very powerful message. In the midst of all of that joy, it was a story of being resilient. Right. Now, you got kids. And I need to meet some of them. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Coming up. All 13 crowns are joining us when we come back. This is what it's like growing up with 13 kids in my family. When you walk in the door, you're going to see a lot of slippers and shoe shelves that are packed. Not just one, but two. None of us have our own bedroom, but it's kind of fun that way. You'll see a lot of bunk beds, and I probably should have worn them before I filmed this, but we're just keeping it real. In our bathroom, there are a ton of products because everyone likes their own stuff. And we have not one, not two, but three coat racks. And finally, there are a ton of dishes to do every single day. Follow along for more. We're back with Sarah and Heidi Wolfgang. They are going viral, revealing they had 14 kids together in 21 years. Heidi is a Grammy-nominated member of the 80s band The Jets. And now seven of their kids are following in his footsteps in their own pop group called The 13 Crowns. Please welcome The 13 Crowns! <laughs> Okay, I'm not kidding you. They gave me uh, this. This is how I was supposed to remember <laughs> all of your children. And, and Sarah said, I forget sometimes. So I'm going to let you all start and name your... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, sure. I'm Eve. I'm the oldest. I'm 26. I'm Heinrich. I'm the second oldest. I'm 25. I'm Tihane. I'm the fourth oldest, and I'm 22. I'm Abraham. I'm 20, and I'm the fifth oldest. I'm Mike Kelly. I'm the sixth oldest, and I'm 19. I'm Nora May. I'm the seventh in the fam, and I'm 17. I'm Hazel, I'm 15, I'm the number eight. Number eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So I know, I know you're at home saying, that's only eight. Well, your youngest kids are also here, but they're on Skype. Hi, guys! Hi, Joel. <laughs> OK. Sarah, because they're yours, can you start? <laughs> of course. This is Wesley. He's 14. That's Mary. Uh, she is 12. That's Vake. She's 10. That's Lene. She is 7. And that's Joy. She's 5. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, Joy. I mean, Heine, is it surreal when you look here and you're like, 
These are all my babies. Uh, yes, I, I feel like I'm dreaming still. So, yeah. <laughs> so what are the rules for organization? Is there organization? I mean, what, what, you know Marie Kondo just said it went out the window. There's no organization. Really, like, I think that you, you ebb and flow. If you become obsessed with becoming organized, you're going to lose your mind because you can't be. Mm -hmm. But then on the other hand, you have to have a sense of some type of a system. So we have a structured daily schedule that we try to stick to, to try to keep some semblance. And everybody has their area of the house that they care for and that rotates every month. So yeah, it's just a system. <laughs> but I, when it comes to being super organized, I think that's part of being able to have so many kids. You just got to let it go. So Eve, you're the oldest. Yes. So I mean, I, they come, do they? Go get my shoes, remote control. I mean, there are privileges to being the oldest. Absolutely. There's definitely privileges. There's a lot of responsibility, too. <laughs> but to me, I think the privileges outweigh the responsibilities. Like you said, I always have someone to go get my phone charger when I need it. <laughs> <laughs> She keeps them Hi, Rick, what is it like, you know, when you all are performing and then you look at those videos of your dad and his siblings and even still watching them perform? What is that like? Those are big shoes to fill. I'm telling you, my whole cassette deck filled with Jets music. <laughs> right. <laughs> it wasn't until, like, we were older that we realized, like, what, he re what they really were, the Jets. And I still think it's really awesome to see him performing still. And like when we're driving down the street, we'll just turn the radio on and a song comes on and it's my dad singing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, right. like, it's awesome. Crazy. So in a battle of the band, the Jets versus 13 Crowns. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes crazy. home with the trophy? 13 oh. Crowns. 13 Crowns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I was gonna say, I've been in both. I've performed with the Jets, so whoever wins, I'll be a You're part the of winner. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for sharing your family. Congratulations, thank 13 you. Crowns. Thank congratulations you. Thank you. on the residency. The 13 Crowns new EP from the beginning is available now. And tickets to see Heine in the Jets 80s and 90s experience in Las Vegas. Available